Hey, this is Bradley J, and I am here at the, well, the Alpha Media Studios on top of Huntoon Hill. And today I get the pleasure of talking to, well, a media guru. You can see he's on the screen. He's smiling. His name is Tim Colling. Welcome to our advertising advice segment with Tim Colling. And it is true, Tim, everywhere I see, we do meetings here at work. And we do a Zoom meeting, and I love it because Tim, it doesn't say Tim Colling when his name pops up. It says Marketing Guru. And Tim, how did you become a marketing guru here at Alpha Media Topeka? I know you've been in this business for a long time, but where did you get your inspiration? How did, how did this all start for you to become the marketing guru that you are? Um, I guess you could say I'm a student of the game. Um, Ever since I was a kid, marketing and advertising uh, were something that, that fascinated me. I like the jingles. I like the logos. Um, and I love to do research. Um, when I was in college, that was uh, one part of my advertising major that I really liked was uh, consumer psychology, um, looking at what market trends do, what the environment, what current events do um, uh, when, as far as marketing, how people react to those. Um, and I've also, I really love learning about different types of businesses. Um, so this is, it's perfect for me because I could be the ag client one minute and go then visit with a financial institution and then to a restaurant, then to um, a dermatologist, you know, it's just an open book. And then my challenge is the fun part is to find the success, uh, advertising success to help each and every one of those. So you were kind of like, were you the kid? Can I ask you this question? It's kind of personal, Tim. I got to ask you because my cousin was this type of student in college as well. I need to know. My cousin sat in the very front row and absorbed everything that the teacher was talking about. Were you that kind of student? Were you the student that sat in the front row and you were just like mesmerized by the teacher and what they had to say when it came to advertising classes? Well, I'll tell you a funny story. I, um, started in junior college because I got a football scholarship and there's actually a picture in the very first page of the yearbook of me asleep in the very back of the class but so it it just goes to show that I mean because I was the same way with you I did horrible in college when I went to college I, I went and they said you don't have to go to class and I was like you don't and so I didn't. But then you learn as you go on, though. There, like you said, you got interested in the jingles, in the commercials, looking for success for businesses. And that's kind of what's inspired you, right? Well, I had to get, after you get all that stuff out of the way that you they make you take, um, I actually have a minor in geology. Why? I don't know. Uh, once I got into the advertising classes, um, it really, I mean, that's what I knew what I wanted to do anyway. But it clicked. And. I wasn't the kid in the front of the class, but I was engaged, involved. It was it was a lot of fun, and I actually, believe it or not, all these years later, still use a lot of that stuff uh, that we talked about in those classes. Um, my dad always told me, uh, "If you find something you love, you'll never work another day in your life." And that's luckily I've, I've had the advantage of doing that in my career. So. Well, I was told in a class that I took to radio for a year, radio and TV for a year out in Boston, uh, Massachusetts, and I was taught find something that you love to do that you would do anyway and not get paid for it. And that's one of the things that I, I love listening to music. And that's what my job is on the big 94.5 country between nine and two. So it, I, I just I love doing that kind of thing. And you're the kind of guy it sounds like that not only do you know the business side of it when you go in to talk to a client, but you also have that, it seems like you kind of have that creative uh, mindset as well. Usually you don't find people like that. You have somebody who's really smart with business, but not, you know, the creative side, they have a little difficult doing. But with you, you kind of com combine the both. Would you say that's kind of made you a marketing guru as well? Yeah, there's different places I get my inspiration from for that. So. Well, where's one of the places, where would you say is your best place to get your inspiration from. Is it there sitting in your office at your desk? Hmm. There you are. I'm inspired, Bradley J. So, is, so for deep thoughts, I'm guessing you go there for deep thoughts. Is that right? Actually, uh, Jeep thoughts, Bradley J. <laughs> Jeep thoughts. I get it now. I get it. Deep thoughts, Jeep thoughts. I like it, man. I like it. So, Tim, I read 
in your newsletter that you've been doing this. I was just talking about this while we were trying to connect with you. You first started here at WIBW Radio 27 years ago. Have you always worked here? Not another job in your life? Um, nope, I haven't. I uh, started right out of college for uh, radio stations in our company uh, that are in Salina, Kansas. Uh, then was asked to move up here in 2000. I believe, and have been in Topeka ever since, but uh, something I'm really kind of proud of is I've always worked for the same company, uh, it's changed names a couple of times uh, with ownership, but uh, outside of that, it's it's been a great ride. Well, let me ask you this, because I was just talking, we we're talking about how, like your marketing, what you went through in college, and I was talking about why we were trying to reconnect with you, uh, relationships as well. Is, is having relationships with people that own businesses, is, is that a very important thing? Is that like, like a top three thing when it comes to marketing, the relationship? Really it is. Um, when you, that's the favorite part of advertising because uh, you get their trust, you build a, build a relationship with the client, and they really struggle with how to advertise. They don't know what, how to advertise, and, and like you and I have a passion for what we do. Um, if you're going to start a business, you have a passion for what you're doing. And my job is to find that passion and find a way to convey that to the consumer. Because if the consumer knows what the business owner knows about that business, then they will become a customer. Um, how hard, How hard? let me ask you this when it comes to, they have your trust, how hard is it to take their passion for what their business is and relay it to the radio or even digital, which is what we do as well. How do you relay that passion from them to digital or radio commercials on the air? Uh, just getting to know them and, and sometimes you, uh, well, well, I, I'll kind of give you an example. Um, you just get to know how they are and, and know what they do and know why they like to do it. And Well, let's ask somebody. Hey, Jim. Hey, I'm calling. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Man, good to see you. You too. I just want to say, say hi to Bradley. Hey, Bradley, how are you? I'm good, Jim. How are you? Man, I'm great. Kim and I go way back. We started with a garrison comparison probably 12 or 14 years ago, and now he's he's advanced me in some digital marketing techniques that are pretty cool. So, so, uh, so I was asking... I was well. I was asking Tim about it. How how important is it to have a really good foundation of a relationship with someone like Tim that's in radio, digital, uh, and marketing like that? How important is a relationship, Jim, for uh, you to have with Tim? Bradley, I think that uh, I think that relationship is really important that for somebody that knows the community, has lived here for many many years, has raised his family here. So there's a lot of parallels between Tim's life and what I've done. We try to try to help people out every single day. We're trying to help people out, and that's exactly what Tim's doing to spread the message about products that we offer and services that we provide to help our clients out. So that's, what, that's exactly what Tim has done for me, and through use of his digital marketing products, we've fortunately been able to, to help many clients here in, in Topeka and Shawnee County. That, Very good. that Jim is has amazing. A lot of passion. Jim has a lot of passion for what he does and his customer service, and he ensures the – beautiful purple jeep every man a wildcat baby <laughs> <laughs> i see why you two have a good relationship <laughs> it it goes down to the purple blood baby that's right <laughs> there you go man well it, it, it sounds like you've really taken business from the ground floor to being very successful for jim not only jim but also for uh, other clients um that you know tim i do yeah that's what makes it fun um you really, like I was telling you before, you find out what their passion is for their business, and you build off of that. Um, and you, you know, sometimes it's big companies, sometimes it's small companies, but you take what they give you, and it, sometimes you really got to pull that information out of them um, because they don't know either. Um, that's the biggest reason why I find that people don't advertise from small to big companies is just because they don't know how or they don't know what to say. Um, so pulling that information from them about what their passion is for why they go to work every day, why they have that restaurant, why they go to that bank, why they find mortgages for people, why they work on a farm, 
find that passion and when you can convey that to the consumer through advertising, that's when it's going to click for both the business and the consumer and they'll start doing business together. And I know, Tim, you and I, we've actually worked together because we are co-workers, but it is different. Like, people always ask me, they're like, you know, oh, you're on the air, so what do you work, like five hours, four hours? And I'm like, no. And they ask, like, who else is in the building? You know, who else do you work with? And I'm like, well, we work with marketing marketing people. Um, and, oh, what's their job? And you, start, and you start to tell them, and then, you know, they're like, oh, well, that's, well, that's I never thought about, you know, this and that when, I, when I'm talking about it or when I'm trying to explain it to them as well. But you and I have worked on some stuff for the broadcast company and for all these years. But you do so much for the clients as well. I mean, like you have that relationship and you're building um, something for them to get out to the consumer. But explain that a little bit as well. Um, I've been in the radio industry for 27 years now. Um, but I've helped over the years help clients with everything from I've helped do some TV commercials. I've helped them with their print ads. Just things on the side that's going to help them. And then, oh, it's been eight years ago, I started, uh, we started doing digital with our company. And I've really advanced through that to where, honestly, I don't think I've seen better digital products anywhere uh, than what we have. And that's what I work with Jim on. Um, a lot of it starts with the marketing funnel. Um, you have a lot of people up at the top that are aware of what your product is. And as they work their way down to when they actually need it, that's how you need to work with your ads. Um, so there's a traditional marketing funnel that um, if you're in marketing, you've seen for years. There's actually now a digital marketing funnel that kind of goes through that progress. Some of the things we do with the gym are we target people um, based on what their needs are uh, and based on where they live. Jim likes to target people that are close to his office that he can go help because he's so big on customer service. Um, we also geofence places that have uh, really good uh, options for really good possibilities for his targets to be, and then his ads will pop up on their phones once they've been in that geofence. Um, Jim's been on the radio. He's been in pigskin and hoops. So I help people with all different types of, of things, and, and I work them through that funnel to where uh, people are aware of who they are down to where, hey, I need insurance. I'm going to call this guy and make a garrison comparison absolutely i do like that the garrison comparison i love that and that's one of the things i don't think people realize they they think like okay i'm going to advertise and just put a commercial out there but i know tim that you've also worked on campaigns where you've actually come up with you would call it a slogan like garrison comparison nobody else nobody else has that i've never heard that with any other business and that that is amazing but let me ask you this tim You've been in business, you've been doing this, marketing guru, 27 years, but how does a client get started with you? Say they got a new business out there and they're like, how do I go about marketing my business? You're the guy that they need to talk to, right? Yeah, and it really all, it starts with them, you know, because they're doing their business all day long and they, they're thinking about what they're doing internally. You know, if you have, you're from a mechanic, you're working on cars all day. If you're a restaurant, you're figuring out what, you know, inventory you need to bring in for lunches, for dinners, you know, you're involved in your business. And usually it's, you know, on the way home or if there's a slow time and you're, you think, oh, gosh, I probably need to figure out some advertising. Um, so that, that's where I come in and I help them make advertising part of their daily routine where they're always thinking about it, not focusing on it to where they're working on it, but thinking about it. And then I come in meet with them on a regular basis, and then we figure out, hey, some of the things you've been thinking about, what are you seeing? What are con consumers doing? How are they reacting differently? How do we need to change your ads to, to adapt to that? Um, so the first thing is just making that first step. And like I said before, a lot of people won't advertise just because they don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. Um, so it's getting that first step and getting them, uh, making that commitment to yourself or as a business. Um, to say, hey, I want to learn more about it, and I want to figure out the best way to do it. There's too many people that will, um, sometimes we call it spray and pray. They'll do a little here, a little here, and a little here, and it really never does anything for anybody. Um, so you need to really get a focus not only on creative, but also on where you're going to place that, that marketing. I'd say that's exactly right, Brad. Tim, Tim helped me show the, the value of consistency, and 
figuring out what your budget is, figuring out what you want to accomplish, but do it on a very regular basis. Exactly. Thank you, Jim. So I would take away from this. If I was, if I, I know, right, from a client's mouth, man, you can't get better. Word, what do they call it? Um, word of mouth. Word of mouth is already spread, yeah. man. Uh, so really, yeah. when it comes down to if you have a new business, it's like if you don't know about advertising or you have questions, you need to call someone that knows the business, and that would be Tim Coling. And we have other market people in marketing here as well that you can get a hold of, but we're talking to Tim. So call Tim. Tim will have the answers for you. 27 years of marketing experience, not only on the radio, but also digital and print. And you've been doing, like I said, you've been doing it for a long time. And I know my, my mom ran a little cafe in Lucas, Kansas, and people would come and, and ask her to advertise. And she had questions. Like she called me because she didn't really know what was going on. And I was like, just call me, mom. I know a little bit and I know people. And I'm telling you, I know people. I know Tim Colling. I know Jim Garrison. Marketing works. And there's proof right there, man. Tim, anything else you want to let people know about marketing and yourself? Um, no, I think that uh, there could be more to come because, Bradley, this Jeep Thoughts has really done well. We should make it a regular thing. Jeep Thoughts with marketing guru of 27 years, Tim Coling. That's a long title. I don't know if we can, I don't know if we can use that. But, uh, Tim, it's been a pleasure getting to know more about you and what you do as a, market, as a marketing guru here at Alpha Media um, Radio. Again, if you, uh, you want to get a hold of Tim, it's right there on the screen. Contact him. Uh, give him a call. You're, he's available seven days a week, 365 days a year, 24-7. Right, Tim? That's right. My Absolutely. Cell phone's always with me. <laughs> Jim Garrison, it's good to see you. Tim Cooling, thank you so much. You have been joining us for Advertising Advice, this little segment with Tim Cooling. We like to call it with Tim and Bradley J. Jeep Thoughts. You guys have a fantastic day. You too, Bradley. Thank you. Thanks, Bradley. You bet.